Today on the channel, we are going to do an unboxing and assembly and see what y'all get inside the Summit Viper SD climbing tree stand. What is up everybody? Today we are going to do a little unboxing and see what you get inside the Summit Viper SD climbing tree stand. Um, this tree stand weighs about 20 pounds as you've seen in some of the, what I talked about in some of the previous videos about being light and uh, that my one uh, crew member, he's, he's going with the strap on and the, and the climbing sticks, that's Fox. Um, he does a lot of behind the scenes stuff and he does a lot of communicating back and forth with me on, on our hunting tactics. But if you're new to the channel, hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. I got the project truck behind me. We also have a uh, channel Jeep attached to the channel, so go back and check out some of those videos, which we already did some hunting videos from last year. But in a later video, I'm gonna show you guys out there the best way to carry your, your tree stand systems out in the woods, whether you're doing a, a scouting and hunting type of a hunt or um, taking your tree stands in and out of the woods before and after the season. But I figured out a, the best way to do that but you have to hit that subscribe button, note, ring that notification bell so you guys are uh, on board with it when I drop the video. So here is the Summit Viper SD climbing tree stand. We're just going to do a little unboxing of it. Um, I'm, I was looking for something uh, lighter in a tree stand um, and uh, having multiple tree uh, climbing tree stands. So I, I'll, what I'll do is... Uh, Get a couple of these or different styles of these, test them out and, and whatnot. I have some that fold flat and uh, this one does not fold flat. But uh, take it out, put it up, go back and do a hunt there. If I need to move it 20 yards, it takes no time to move these things. Or if I need to pick up and go and hunt in the afternoon in a different area if you're hunting over a, a wide variety of uh, land. That way you don't have to go out and have... 10 or 15 stands up, I take one with me. You might find that hot spot in between stands and, you're, and you think, wow, I wish I had a, a stand to drop right here. I, I, you find a fresh scrape that he's coming to. I wish I had a, a stand that I could just throw right here and boom. So that's why I'm going more towards these style of tree stands. So opening it up here, I'll turn this around. Here's, what a, here's how it's packaged. Looks like the seat is on the bottom. We'll just push this off to the side. The seat is uh, nice. It has has like that egg style foam in here. Probably gives you a little massage up there in the, in the top of the tree. And it's a, a mossy oak pattern. Here's a, a bag of uh, goodies you get. It looks like there's even a, a hat inside the the, uh, the bag here. Looks like all your straps and whatnot. And then the tree stand itself. Pull this out. So here's how your uh, tree stand comes out of the box. Your bag of goodies, which looks like it has some padding, a bag, some straps, your, your climbing stirrups, your seat, and this model also gives you a footrest. And your cables. That go around the tree. So that's pretty much what you get inside the box, and it looks like the instructions are inside this bag. So I'm going to open this up real quick here and show you what's all in here. Let me get my trusty SOG knife out. And no, SOG is not sponsoring me for this. But SOG, if you would like to, give me a call. Maybe we could work something out or message me. So inside the bag, you have... Instruction booklet.
looks like a, a summit sticker. Maybe we'll have to put that on the project truck. My channel is about driving trucks and hunting bucks. And it looks like we have a, a tree stand safety video. A summit tree stand hat. Maybe we'll have to do a giveaway on the hat. A safety harness. And I cannot stress enough about whenever you're taking your feet up off the ground, wear your safety harness. I can tell you, um, I hear, I've heard stories about guys falling out 20 feet out of the tree stands, being paralyzed from the waist down. Um, yeah, it's, it's no joke, so wear your tree stand. Here is a... Uh, Looks like a, a lanyard, a bungee lanyard of some sort. Here is a another one. Another strap. Two more straps, rather. Second pieces to the straps. Some some zip ties. Another bungee, I believe this is what your your feet go in, your climbing stirrups, and this is how you will climb the tree, some hardware, and more hardware, looks like a, a pad for the rail, or the arms, and two more pads, which look to be for the, uh, as the armrest, and the rails. So that's what you get with your tree stand. So I'm going to assemble this and then I'll bring you back in and we'll go over the, uh, the pros and cons on how hard it was. I haven't made up my mind yet if I'm going to put the footrest on or not because I do want it lightweight. And any little bit of re weight reduction helps you in humping this in and out of the, your, your hunting land or your hunting territory. So like I said... I'm going to put this all together and I'll bring you guys back in and we'll go over this once again. All right, now that we have the tree stand assembled and here's what it'll look like all assembled. It's a pretty cool uh, tree stand. I, I, I like it. It has some heavy duty uh, arm pads here. But I'm going to show you now how to put this together and then the pieces as I'm going along with the uh, putting it together. I did not choose to put the footrest on. And they give you separate instructions on how to put the footrest on. And they have self-tapping self screws that you have to drill into the, the base of the tree stand. But I choose not to put it on because, I, like I said earlier in the video, that I'm going on um, weight reduction. Um, so, last, the other climber I have doesn't have a footrest so what I don't have I don't know what I'm missing maybe in the future if I choose to uh, put a footrest on it at least I have it I could put it on but I'm going to show you how to put this make the two pieces together and for it's easy packable one thing is the the smaller bungee cord which is the umbilical cord that makes the two stands together. So if your bottom stand falls out behind, underneath you, you can pull it back up with this one and it shouldn't go far. And all that does is get gets attached to here on the base and then it will go up and connect to your, your upper part of your, your climbing tree stand. So this is just to, to have as a safeguard so if your your bottom stand gets away from you while you're sitting in the stand you could easily retrieve it back up put it in position and continue on with your hunt so i'm going to take this off for now and i'll put that back on later but to put the uh tree stand together is the best way i found to do these is to get some of this stuff out of your way well here is the back strap system that they give you but I am not going to use this because of, um, like I said earlier, uh, an easy way of packing this in and out. Um, a lot simpler, a lot more comfortable. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that. 
we'll put this off to the side. We, they also give you the harness, which we'll put this off to the side. The foot rest, the umbilical cord, and they also give you another strap. But the best way to, to make this together is to get your, your upper part and, here, and have the seat over here, the, the back of the seat up over the top. Here's some information that they have to put on here because of the fabric and the material they use in the seat, which I'll end up cutting off. But then you get your, your upper part. And what you, what you want to do is get your backrest and come through the last one of your tree stand and then you put your tree stand in the, the parts that go around the tree. Put that in place and all you got to do is just push down around here a little bit. Push down, push it in, secure it tight, get your, your foot rest. Now this model does have the stirrups, which is a lot easier than the straps laying all on the platform. But once you get your, your seat up to where you need it, and I'll, I'll put this up here like this so you guys can see it. Once you have your seat up, and all you're going to do is just go around the top. On that side. And then once again on this side. That way it'll keep your seat up. And then for the back of your seat, you could either cinch it tight with your adjustment straps here. And that will bring everything and tighten everything up. And this is how you would carry your tree stand. If you use the straps that are provided for you, they would be attached here and here. And you could carry it on your back. But I'm not using this, this carrying system that they give you. So once you have your tree stand set up like that, then what you do is get this other strap. And here's once again the umbilical cord that will go from the bottom part up to the top one, which I'll just put it on there for now, so I don't lose it. And then what this strap does is, once you get it all in there tight, is you, and a lot of, a lot of people say, oh, my, my tree stand makes noise walking in and out of the woods. Well, you, you know, if you, you pack it correctly, secure it correctly, it won't make any noise. You go, once your tree stands together, you go around the armrest. Same thing on this side, go around the armrest. And then all you gotta do is fish it through. You pull it tight. which brings all the tree stand down. You've got your seat here, buffing the noise. You've got your arm pads in between the thing. And once everything's tightened up, this, this thing's not making any noise. But like I said, I found a better way of carrying these. Um, so subscribe to the channel to see that. So that's, that's what's all included in this Summit Viper SD. Um, pretty light I'm, I'm looking to uh, to uh, have about 30 pounds when I'm hiking in and out of the, the woods between my pack my gear and a tree stand I'm pushing I want to be pushing right at that 30 mark 30 pound mark so um, and what weighs the most is of course the water that you, that you hike in so that's why I choose not to uh, put the foot rest on right now and that's pretty much well lit on, on your, the review of the Summit Viper SD tree stand. Well, guys, I got to go out and check some camera cards. So till next time, I'm Joe. Driving trucks and hunting bucks is how I roll. And I'll see all you in the next video.